All right, here's a quick video showing how to use graspable math to solve a system of equations uh, using the elimination method. It's a little bit of a hack, a little bit of a workaround. So let's get started on this. Now here's our uh, system. We've got these two equations, 2x plus 4y is equal to 62, x plus y is equal to 18. So now, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, I, I wanna leave this as it is, so I'm gonna make a quick copy of each of these, and there you go, and if I need to move them around, I can move them around a little bit. All right, so um, I'm gonna leave this system right here on the left uh, alone, and I'm gonna operate on the, the one on the right. I can make the equations a little bit bigger if I wish. Okay, so uh, if I'm looking at this on the right, right now, and I'm gonna get these out of the way, if I'm looking at them right now, nothing can eliminate. So what am I gonna do? One idea would be to take that second equation and multiply both sides by negative four. So I'm gonna click on that equal sign and I'm gonna multiply by negative four. And then I'm gonna do some simplification. So I'm gonna drag this accordion up here and it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna continue feeding down. Um, there we go. So now we have our two uh, equations ready because I, I now see a place where there's going to be some elimination. It's that 4y and negative 4y. The way we're going to kind of like add these two equations is a little bit of a workaround. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add um, a box. This, this place filter uh, down here. I don't know what, what this box is called. What? I don't know what this box is called. Uh, but I'm going to just call it like a placeholder or something. So I'm going to do box plus box equals box plus box. All right, and I'm gonna hit done, and I'm gonna move, it that, move that up here. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take these two left sides and I'm gonna add them together and I'm gonna put them down here. And then I'm gonna take these two values on the right and I'm gonna put them in these two boxes on the right side of this equation. So how am I gonna grab the two X plus four Y? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down with my finger the shift key and then I'm gonna carefully select just the two X plus four Y. And then now that it's highlighted blue, I'm just gonna drag it down and put it in that first box. And now I'm going to pull up that accordion. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this left side down here. So again, I'm gonna hold down the shift key. I'm gonna carefully select the negative four X plus negative four Y. And I'm gonna put it down here in that box. There you go. So the left side, I have added these two left sides of the equation. Now the right side, I'm gonna do the 62 plus negative 72. And that's pretty easy. I don't have to hold down shift key because these are just values. So I'm just gonna hold down that 62, drag it down. Hold down, drag that negative 72 right here. And now all I have to do is simplify. So let's simplify. I'm gonna combine the X's, combine the Y's, and of course the Y's disappear. And that was the whole point. And, and I divide and I can now see that my X value is five. So how do we get the Y? We substitute it into either of these two uh, equations. And I could actually, I have this other equation right here, the original x plus y, which got modified and became negative 4x plus negative 4y is equal to negative 72. So really, I have three different uh, equations I could choose from. So I'm just going to take that 2x plus 4y. I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to substitute that 5 into the x. So I'm just going to grab the x and I'm going to drop it into the x. Notice the x highlights. And I'm going to let it go. So I've substituted um, 5 for that original x. And now I'm going to simplify and solve for y. And I see that my, I can close that up a little bit. And so I can see that the X value is five, the Y value is 13, and there is my solution. If I'm not entirely sure and I don't trust it very much, I can take in a graph, create a graph here, and I can drag in the two original equations into the graph and I don't see anything right now. Uh, that's because I need to, move this out of the way so it doesn't bump into my face my and then uh, I, I just need to do some moving around moving that equate oh there it is there it is there it is and if I want I can kind of zoom in 
and I can see that that value right there is indeed 5, 3. So the x value of 5, the y value is 13. And that is your quick workaround for how to solve a system of equations using the elimination method.